Hello and welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial on using FL Studio as a plugin within other applications. FL Studio can be loaded and used as either a VSTI or DXI plugin from within other compatible applications. In this mode of operation, the output of FL Studio is sent to the host. The host controls the play and stop events as well as the tempo. You can also control FL Studio channels and parameters using MIDI and send each mixture track to a separate output if the host supports VSDI or DXI multiple output plugins. Okay, using FL Studio as a plugin is easy, so let's get started. First of all, we need to confirm that FL Studio VSDI or DXI connection plugins are installed on your system. Normally, FL Studio will ask where to copy the VSTI connection plugin during the installation of FL Studio itself, and also lets you register the DXI connection plugins. If for some reason you didn't do this during the main FL Studio installation, you can do it now by clicking Start, Programs, FL Studio, Advanced, Install Plugin Version. For the FL Studio VSTI connection plugin, you should select the VSTI plugin folder of the application you wish to use. In this case, we'll use the Steinberg VST plugins folder for Cubase SX. DirectX plugins are registered automatically in Windows, so you don't need to select a location for this type of plugin. OK. Now we have the FL Studio connection plugin available in our host program. Let's start using it. We are going to use Cubase SX here, but any compatible host will work fine. First of all, start the host application and load an instance of the FL Studio VSTI or DXI connection plugin. Here I have the FL Studio plugin loaded in Cubase SX. And here is the FL Studio VSTI plugin. You can open up the FL Studio interface by clicking on the FL Studio icon. You can work as usual in FL Studio, load projects, edit projects and melodies. However, the output of FL Studio is now being sent to the host application. Here we can see that the FL Studio outputs appear in the Cubase SX mixer where you can apply any of Cubase's internal processing options. If we increase the tempo in Cubase, we can see that FL Studio is synced to follow the tempo of the host application. OK, so now if we go back to the FL Studio interface and into the Options Audio Settings menu, we can select to have FL Studio follow the host application by slaving to its tempo, or just to follow the tempo that you have set in FL Studio itself. The FL Studio plugin back here in the host application also includes a time offset control, which allows you to control how many bars earlier FL Studio will play compared to the host. With negative values, FL Studio will start later than the host. As in this case, 10 bars late. When you want to hide the FL Studio interface and work in the host, don't use the minimize button as you might usually do. Use the close button. FL Studio will remain active. The FL Studio VSDI version comes in two flavors. A single output version, which I am using here, or a multiple output version. The multiple output version can have up to 16 outputs. The single output version will mix all of the output of the FL Studio into one stereo pair. But the multiple channel version will allow you to link each channel in the mixture to one of 16 stereo pairs. You can then mix each stereo output in the host. To select an output for a specific track, look in the mixer of FL Studio and select the I.O. routing. 
For each channel, you can see you have a choice of up to 16 outputs. All FL Studio channels can be controlled via MIDI messages from the host. To do so, create a MIDI channel in the host and assign its output to FL Studio. Then, from the Instruments list, you'll be able to see all the different instruments that are available in FL Studio. Just select the name of the channel you wish to control. Okay, that's about it. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and you now have a good feeling for using FL Studio as a DXI or VSDI plugin from your host application. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention, and have fun with FL Studio.